Well, those are your latest headlines. Hello and welcome to France Van Cats. I'm Louise Hanna. It's now 13 days since a ceasefire was declared in Syria. And yet on Tuesday, peace envoy Kofi Annan described the situation there as bleak. In a video conference with the UN Security Council, he said it would be totally unacceptable and reprehensible if reports that government troops had killed more than 30 in Hama on Monday were true. Well, let's cross live now to our correspondent in neighbouring Beirut, Lucy Fielder. Lucy, you've been talking to activists on the ground in Syria. What are they saying about the possibility of being intimidated? Lucy, if Syrians are being intimidated, does this call into question the point of sending further observers? Thank you very much for that, Lucy. That was Lucy Fielder reporting for us live from Beirut. China's being urged to exercise some delicate diplomacy between Sudan and South Sudan. It's after Khartoum carried out a series of air bombings on Monday over its neighbour, killing 16. Well, it's hoped Beijing, whose energy needs mean it has an interest in both Sudan staying calm, can persuade the two to negotiate rather than fight. The escalation in violence comes after both clashed over the oil-rich border town of Hedgelik. The man seen as the world's most powerful player in news is to be put through his paces this Wednesday. More trouble for Dutch caretaker Prime Minister Mark Rutte. His coalition government collapsed at the weekend when a far-right ally refused to back his plans for 16 billion euros worth of austerity measures. We're just 11 days away now from the final vote of France's presidential election and the front runner has once again put the economy at the top of his agenda. Speaking this morning, socialist candidate Francois Hollande laid out what he'd do first if he gets to the Elysee. While well, the second leg of the race has left some sensing dissension in the ranks of President Nicolas Sarkozy's UMP party. Well, Sarkozy, of course, came second in round one and now has to appeal to the more than six million French people who voted for far-right leader Marine Le Pen. That alone has caused ruction with some party members, but now Sarkozy is facing veiled criticism from his own prime minister. But Sarkozy's been clear on how close he's prepared to get to the far right. And to a presidential election on the other side of the Atlantic, another clean sweep of states for Republican at presidential hopeful Mitt Romney. And Barcelona woke up this morning to questions of whether the demise of one of football's all-time greatest clubs has begun. Well, let's cross live now to Sarah Morris in Madrid. Sarah, some pretty disappointed football fans there, I imagine. Uh, absolutely, a huge surprise. OK, well, thank you very much, Sarah Morris. Commiserations to the fans there in Barcelona. That's all we have time for right now. We're back in 20 minutes.